Joining us tonight, Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett, author of the soon to be released book. Are you ready? Can we? There, there it is. <laughs> the Russia hoax, the illicit scheme to clear Hillary Clinton and frame Donald Trump. It's available for pre order, I understand, uh, on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. It is indeed. Uh, well, I spent many months writing it. Uh, it's in the editing process by the publishers, but people can go online and buy it. But it really tells the whole story of how Hillary Clinton was cleared for political reasons, which well, I, I believe is obstruction of justice. And then the same people decided to launch a phony investigation of Donald Trump to try to prevent him from being president and then bring him down when he became president. You know, the president was the first one to call it a hoax. Yes. And he has been adamant, obviously, throughout. But he called this from the very beginning. Oh, he did. And he said that this, there's nothing to this. It's a witch hunt. And you know, everything that happens day in and day out, as we talk about on this broadcast, it, it, it just further sure. validates what he has said and makes you wonder why in the world Robert Mueller is, hasn't been investigating uh, Hillary Clinton, the Department of Justice, uh, the the FBI leadership. Right. It's backwards, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I mean, there's, there's plenty of compelling, overwhelming evidence that other people, including Hillary Clinton, uh, appear to have committed crimes. They're not being investigated. And instead, I mean, the reason he is so outraged in calling it a hoax is because the president is convinced he didn't have any contacts with the Russians. Right. If you ever talk to the president, say, I don't know any Russians. And his campaign was by the seat of the pants. They didn't have time to be talking to Russians in a collusive way to influence the election. You know, the never Trumpers are still hard at work, trying to rationalize, even as this, this hoax is collapsing around the, the Dems, the deep state, right. and the rhino Republicans. Trey Gowdy had said uh, to John Dowd, uh, if your client is something to this effect, I'm paraphrasing, if your client is innocent, why don't you act like it? And I thought, you know, that's where they are now. Uh, they've got to talk, right. they've got to come up with this nonsense. Uh, and Gowdy today, uh, along with Bob Goodlatte, taking a deal with the Justice Department, apparently where they get 400,000 documents out of 1.2 million that they've been asking for for six months. What in the world are they thinking? Well, I, they may be a little bit naive and gullible if they think they're going to get what they deserve, because the Department of Justice has a long and distinguished history of hiding evidence, covering up um, wrongdoing. And there's plenty to cover up here. So I wonder how many of these documents they eventually get will be so redacted they're unreadable, or how many other documents are going to be buried in a vault somewhere, and oh, we don't know anything about it. Yeah, it, 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 to me, it's stunning that these two chairmen of the judiciary, Goodlot and Oversight, uh, Gowdy, would agree to a deal where they get a third of what they ask for when they have a responsibility right. of oversight over justice in the FBI. It, it's, it's they should get all of it. Absolutely. Uh, let, let's turn to, uh, if, if we may. <laughs> The, 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 the revelation that Andrew McCabe, <laughs> Andrew McCabe was told, called by a high Department uh, of Justice official and told, what are you doing? We have decided that the Clinton Foundation investigation is dormant and you are proceeding. I, I mean, here we go. The swamp gets bigger, deeper. The stench grows more intense. And meanwhile, again, to what we were saying, this president, sure. not one iota of evidence in the special counsel investigation, yet every day something new comes up uh, on the part of the Department of Justice uh, and the FBI. What's odd is if McCabe so, felt so offended that this was an attempt uh, by the Department of Justice to obstruct his investigation, why didn't he go to Congress? Why didn't he go to the inspector general? Instead, he clammed up. Um, I bet now that the potential for McCabe to be criminally charged for lying four times uh, is, is now on the horizon. He is going to begin singing like a canary and implicating all kinds of people, including James Comey. It was a mistake for Comey to lash out at right. McCabe because McCabe's the one who's in jeopardy who could flip. Do you think he will flip here? Oh, I do. 
You know, look, um, McCabe and Comey were once friends and colleagues, but uh, now it's man versus man, and both of them are in legal jeopardy. And that's when they become, they get to the point of implicating yeah. one another. And both accused of lying. Uh, and it may be one of those circumstances in which uh, both men are right about the other, uh, <laughs> that they are liars. It could be. I think there are a lot of liars uh, among the high-ranking officials at the FBI. Some of them have been uh, shown the door already or demoted. Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, they're uh, being investigated by the inspector general. There's a long laundry list of people who are now in legal jeopardy.